Nicola Sturgeon is under increasing pressure as the Hebrides and Clyde Islands fear being cut off from the mainland after supply shortages. With multiple islands communities relying heavily on ferry services to secure flows of supplies and transport to the mainland, political rivals have questioned Ms. Sturgeon's handling of the situation. Reports suggest the current situation leaves more isolated areas under real threat, as ailing ferry services no longer guarantee basic lifeline services. According to one community group, taking the issue up on social media, MSP member for Scottish Borders Rachel Hamilton blames the SNP. Writing on Twitter, the Scottish Conservative said, influential community groups warn Scotland's islands are under threat from the SNP failing ferry services. Under threat is serious. The SNP will blame anyone but themselves. What a total disgrace. The news was backed up by the Ferries Communities Board. A group addressing the logistical connections to Scottish islands. Angus Campbell, chairman of the board, told The Times, the recent extent and duration of mechanical failures on multiple vessels has led to massive disruption right across the network. He added, without a fit-for-purpose ferry service, all efforts to sustain and grow the population, encourage new business and provide a quality of opportunity will be increasingly damaged, to the detriment of our islands and country. In what appears to be an ongoing issue at Ferguson Marine, a publicly owned shipyard, it emerged last week almost 1,000 cables may have to be ripped out and replaced on the Glen Sanix, commissioned for the Aran service, a vessel already four years late. Adding to the notion of rising costs and wasted money, the Scottish Conservatives added some worrying allegations to their Twitter feed. It read, the £200 million wasted by the SNP on ferries that don't even float could have paid for 9,900 refuse workers. Already, Scottish waste workers have complained and threatened industrial action over poor working and pay conditions. During the COP26 climate change conference in Glasgow, refuse workers sought a wage increase of 5.89%, on top of a £1,062 raise for all employees earning under £25,000. In terms of the ongoing ferry situation, the recent plea by Ferries Communities Board said it was essential more effort was made to increase services to these communities.